Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, yakshimash, and good day, y'all. Um, I have never done a vlog before, sitting down like this, chatting to you. So I thought it was about time I did one. Um, I find it really awkward just sitting here at my bench <laughs> looking at the camera talking to myself even though I do it all the time with the vacuum videos actually sitting down and doing a proper vlog I've never done before so I've got my iPad here in front of me let me just take the little fan out I've done a review of this it's really good um, to help me because I have such a terrible memory as you probably know um, I've got the iPad set up with all the people that I subscribe to and I just want to go through them and sort of like just basically have a little chat with you. So before I do, I noticed that the Celebrity Deluxe, the front caster was missing. So when we were in, it was actually when we were in Tembe, we went to this, oh no it wasn't, it was the range in Swansea. Um, I picked up a caster for it. It came as a pack of four, so I got three spare casters, um, which I might actually convert one of the normal celebrities um, into a caster celebrity so <laughs> um, this is gonna go for that so that will help it along uh, a lot better because it's missing the caster so I will attach this to it later on it's got ball bearings in it which are greased so it's gonna be a nice smooth action so I'll do that at some point I did clean the um, distill um, head I give it a good old washing and scrubbing and that now looks and feels a lot better the wheels are like I didn't realize they're like a very hard plasticky type of rubber so they'll um I can use this with anything really so I'll test this head out I might actually test this head out with one of my really old 1940s Electrolux cylinders um that'll be a bit of a bit of a laugh right okay so anyway uh god this is so awkward this is so awkward hello to everybody um so I've got my list here of people that I subscribe to and I'm going to go through and then I'm going to sort of like summarize at the end. So this is just babbling. So if you don't want to watch this, please, you don't have to. You can just skip on to a vacuum video. This is just me talking. So on my list of sub subscribers on um, from A to Z. So there's no preferential. Let's just go from A to Z. We've got... Um, Six six seven seven three three three. He's washing machines. Um, I do like washing machines. Um, um, it's not one of my big things. How can I explain? When I was a kid, I used to love sitting in front of the washing machine, watching the washing going round. Um, but I haven't got the space for washing machines. It's bad enough with vacuum cleaners. I do have that amazing um, Hot Point uh, twin tub. Uh, Supermatic Deluxe that is going to be back out now when the weather gets a bit warmer so I'll be doing some more videos on that because I know some people do like the uh, washing machine so I'll do some more demos on that fresh for 2018 but it has to it lives in the utility room so during the winter time when it's too cold and I don't use it all the time I just use it normally for smalls um, yeah they are actually smalls on me um, and I think it's a bit of fun so anyway, so that's 667733. He's got some really nice uh, washing machines on there. He's got um, ones like, um, this is actually in, um, he's Italian. So I can kind of understand because I speak Spanish fluently. So when someone is speaking Italian, I can kind of get the gist of what they're talking about. Uh, next one on my list is 8-Bit Keys. Now he's got two channels. It's 8-Bit Keys and, um, and the other one, I can't remember. Uh... 8-bit keys and um, the 8-bit guy um, I like watching his videos I like the way he speaks and what he does I find it interesting uh, what's this one? Oh yeah uh, ab a b c r o kid ab crow kid uh, he's got some recent ones on with the um, Dyson Cyclone V10 uh, AG123 George uh, he's amazing honest to God he is really 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 nice a friend of mine and um, it really is an honor to know him because he's really cool he's a really really nice person you couldn't meet anyone nicer than him he's absolutely amazing lovely guy check out his channel he's got some really good ones the last one he did was the um, 
Vax 2000 versus the Hoover Aquamaster pickup test. So he's got lots of um, machines. Um, he's also done one a month ago on the GTEC AirAm cordless, which I think is the Mark One. Yeah, it is the Mark One. And he does George videos, Dysons, Panasonics, Mealers, bit of everything. I like watching him. Uh, Beta Bar Ben. Now he is a new subscriber. Ben was the guy that I did the um, videos with recently. He's now got 77 subscribers, so that's really good. Um, again, really, really nice guy. He needs a slap sometimes, but he's a really nice guy. Um, okay, next on my list, Becco 1987 Sam. Everybody knows Sam. He's an amazing guy. Uh, his 12 vacuums in 12 months for April, I think I can see here. I think it's a full work. I haven't watched the video yet because over Easter, it's been really busy. My dad was in hospital with his chest. Uh, he's okay now. He's coming out today. Um, so we were down in Swansea for Easter and visiting him as well at the same time. So there's so many videos that I haven't caught up on yet. Uh, what's this? Um... Oh yeah, Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Cabin. Let's have a look. Yeah, Blue Ridge Cabin Cleaning. Um, I like watching some of his videos as well. Um, he's got the Shark Duo cleaning slow motion, mesmerizing. So yeah, there's lots of videos on him I like to watch as well. Uh, Charlie Padfield. Um, oh, he's brilliant, is he's such a good laugh. He's so funny. He's so musically talented as well as well as loving vacuum cleaners. Um, he is also very, very um, musical, excellent singer. Go check out his channel. There's some videos of him singing on there. Chris E, Chris E in Canada. Hey, Chris, how are you? Um, he's recently done one. He did a stream about his shout out and rainbow quick look. So he loves the rainbow vacuum cleaners. I'd like to try one actually. Really, really nice guy. Like that a lot. Uh, what else we got here? Dave the Bang Bang. Uh, I think that's mainly washing machines. Yeah, he's got some washing machines on there as well. I've watched some of them. Donald Jones. Hey Donald, how are you? Um, I've yet to watch your latest video, which you only did 19 hours ago when I'm as I'm recording this, and this is on the Rug Doctor. Um, now he does a lot of. Uh, it's really good because he was using the Hoover Max. Um, what he does, a, oh god, um, on carpet shampoos, he was um, shampooing the um, what do you call it in the church, the the main uh, in the aisle of the church, the main aisle. And um, that was really good. I like watching the washing machine, uh, the carpet shampoo one. So, hey, Donald, keep up the good work. Uh, let's have a look. Dyson 37. Oh, he's got a nice Kirby Centria too. I watched some of his videos. Uh, Edmund Mowing. Let's have a look what's it called. It's quite long. Uh, Edmund Mowing EGJD. Hey, you. How are you? Very good. He puts on lots of videos. It'll keep you going for days. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting. I like watching that. Etienne Danilo, uh, another great, great guy. I sent down my um, old parts of my, I think it was the Hoover 675 or 670, the old, old, old Hoover. I needed some parts off one uh, to make my one work. And then what was left over, I sent to him. I gave to him because uh, he could mm, do with some of the parts. So I sent that down to him. Uh, he's got some lovely old machines, really nice, 1940s. He really, really likes the old, old pre-war machines. And uh, he's got some really nice examples of there. They're lovely little short videos on what he's got. Um, he needs to do some longer videos, more chatting, because he's got some really wicked machines. I'd like to know more about them, and I, can, I bet he's got, I bet he's a fountain of knowledge. going through this 
some reason, some of these won't come up. I don't know why. Oh, here we go. Uh, Florence Ballard. Uh, he's got some really nice machines. He's got some washing machines at the moment as well. I think that's... Let's just go back. Let's go through. Florence Ballard A3060. He's got lots of washing machine uh, videos on there. I like watching some of them. Um, let's have a look. Now, Alex Rowe's got two channels. The first channel I've come across in alphabetical order is called GPO Collector Boy. Um, and he's got some... Oh, I love the old telephones. The, the ring on them is really good. He's got some really um, nice... Um, 1971 GPO 746F Mark 1 two-tone green. Whew, that's a long title. That was the last video we put on, and um, he restored it, and it looks really, really good, and I love the sound of them as well. It's really good. Uh, he also does some really good... <laughs> he does some funny keeping up appearances, hyacinth impressions as well. So um, they're really funny to watch because he must work really hard on them because they're spot on. They really, really are spot on, and it's, it's quite funny. It always makes me laugh. Next one on my list I've got is Greg, Greg Bouchard. Hey Greg, how are you today? I hope you're well. I'm fine, everything's good here. Um, <clears throat> now we're gonna move on to Hank's vacuums. Hank has got some really nice machines, really, really nice. Um, I do like his Sanitaire vacuum cleaners, they're really good. And Rick Haas, Ken Moore Canisters, so this is an American channel, of course he's American. So I do like having a quick look through his because some of his videos um, do help if you need to do some work or maintenance work on them. They're quite interesting to watch. They, they are very interesting to watch, I mean. Um, so yeah, it's nice. And he's got a Kirby Avalier as well, which is lovely. Henry Reviews, don't forget old Henry, lovely little Henry. Henry Reviews, he does some really, really, really good reviews on lots of different things around the house. It's not just vacuums. Uh, the last one he did was the um, integrated undercounter freezer. Um, and he does, um, he did the Hoover Jovis um, Nespresso machine um, amplifiers. All types of gadgets and things around the house he does reviews on. I do like watching his channels because he's got one of those soporific voices, one of those, I can't remember the name of it now, it's sort of like you have somebody has a voice um, that you just sort of like, like listening to and he's got one of those voices. There's a lot of um, YouTubers on here that I like, um, not just for their content but for the way that they speak as well, I think it's really interesting. Anyway, there's little Henry, I hope Henry Cummer does a um, collaboration video with me this year, that would be really cool. He'd be shocked at how informal everything is here. His channel's immaculate. Uh, what we got here? Home Laundry Center. Oh, I love this. He's got loads and loads and loads of washing machines. It's all washing machines. Tumble dryers, white goods. Um, he's got some really, really nice machines. Um, he is a repair guy. And what he doesn't know about washing machines and tumble dryers genuinely is not worth knowing because um it was last year i went up and met some friends and he and some other guys were there and they were helping our mate rob sort of like fix uh, and paul fix the washing machine and um he's really good he's really really good hence that's his job uh next come on I've only got one bar of signal out here, so it takes a few seconds for it to swap over from page to page. This doesn't have, it has a slot for um, um, an SD card, but I never use it on an SD card. Uh, Hoover Master, Hoover Master is really good as well. He's got lots of Dysons. Um, come on, page refurbish, uh, refresh. He's got a free electronic twin turbo that he received two weeks ago. Um, Hoover Junior 1334A First Look. Um, I watched that one. That was really, really good. Um, loft updates. Okay. Let's move on. Come on. Oh, 
Okay, Hugh Clement, he's doing lots of Dyson stuff at the moment. I can see lots of his previous videos, I can see a lot of um, Dyson's, especially with the, um, he's got the V6 here. I don't think he's got a V10 yet. Kinetic Big Ball, that was two months ago, one month ago. He did one three days ago with the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball Animal. Um, so yeah, I like watching his videos. Next on my list is the one and only Roger from my Baziag. I caught up on his vacuum cleaner of the month today, um, but there's still a number of his Dyson Week videos that I haven't watched or I've watched part of. Um, but he's, I, I really want to watch the unboxing of a new and used Dyson DC01 vacuum cleaner. Um, now, on my, on my birthday, I received a message from uh, Roger and he'd done a video and you know at the beginning of his video where he's got Ibasiac and then he vacuums over it. <laughs> what he'd done was he'd put Happy Birthday Dorian with, I think it was tea leaves. And uh, so the Happy came up and he vacuumed it up. And then Birthday and he vacuumed it up. And then Dorian and then vacuumed it up. Well, I thought well, that was really, really sweet. So thank you so much, Roger. If you do watch this, thank you so much for doing that. That, that, is, that is really sweet of you. That's really nice. So thank you so much. It was his fault. I got into vacuums. <laughs> I don't blame him. Uh, okay, Jake's vacuums. Now, he's done one. He hasn't done one for ages, but the last one he did was the Hoover Junior Deluxe. Uh, old Hoover Juniors, DC-04s, the Boss Cylinder. Oh, the Electrolux 170. I love watching these videos. I watch them again and again. They're only short little videos, but they're really nice snippets of some really nice machines. Um... Uh, code K O D E nineteen ninety six um, American, and he's done lots of videos as well as a couple of the recent, more recent ones, which is the um, uh, Hoover Power Drive and the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball Animal Canister. Hoover Power Scrub Elite. I like watching those videos. N now this was fantastic this video he did was on the dyson kinetic big ball animal canister extreme pet air and dirt test i was fascinated by that vacuum cleaner because he was vacuuming up on a red carpet that hadn't been vacuumed for a while it was really 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 full of dirt and dust and fluff and pet fur and everything and it was a dark red carpet and i think he must have emptied it about three times but i was transfixed because that was a big mess test, but a completely natural big mess test. It was just completely what was he hadn't put anything down for the video, and I was transfixed by that. Uh, next, we've got on my list Steve from Mad About Hoovers. Hello, Steve. I'm just catching up on your Easter um, videos. I watched a couple today the vintage 1981 Kirby Heritage one. I can see I have one over there which needs my attention and I think I already have one upstairs as well um, so that one was given to me by uh, a fellow collector as well I'll get to him in a minute but uh, yeah so hello Steve how are you now I as many of you as I've seen I sort of like sort of like we had a bit of a, a miss understanding kind of misinterpretation blah 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 and but it's all sorted now so it's kind of it's really awkward because I mean I, I've written this down on on the um, on the the post that I put on Facebook and everything and it's kind of like I just want to be friends with everybody I'm I'm not interested in the clicks and the groups I mean I have groups of people that I'm friendly with but I'm friendly with everybody so if I go and visit somebody I'm not going to be then going to the next person and sort of like saying oh guess what uh, the gossip and the drama I'm, I'm not really interested in that at all to be honest I've I'm recent to this um, hobby it's only been what a, not even two years and I really enjoy it and I love what I do and I'm learning so much and I've made so many good connections with so many people. And Steve being one of them, um, he always, 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 when I put a, 
<clears throat> a video on for a, an old Hoover or something, and I <laughs> I can never remember how to date them. He will always put the date on there for me and give me some information about it. Um, when I asked him to um, how to strip down the Electrolux and the Mealers, and and he did it, the Hoover Juniors, for example, the motors, he did it for me. That is just incredible. I, I'm absolutely um, honoured and flattered that somebody would take the time and effort to to do that uh, to help somebody else, and that's basically what I want to do as well. But I'm not interested in the um, the the. Oh God, this is so hard to explain. I'm not really interested in in all the stuff that goes be behind it. So when um, we had this misunderstanding and it really, really did upset me because I was, I was, I really was, I really was gutted. I really was gutted because, um, you know, I've got my, where is it? Oh, here it is. You know, I got my little tub of mad about mess and, um, you know, I always comment on his videos and, and he's, gonna leave me that Sanyo, that orange Sanyo in his will so regardless of what he says so uh, <laughs> so I'm, I I just want to be friends with everybody I know that may sound a bit naive and a bit stupid and a bit daft but I genuinely just enjoy what I do and everyone's channels uh, Manchester Vanks um, oh that is so cool I haven't watched it yet this is um, oh Oh, gosh, I've forgotten her name now. Um, the lady from Manchester... Va Olga, that's it, Olga. Hang on, let me come up to that. Yep. Um, Olga's doing the um, Dyson V10 battery life test. And also Nathan is in the videos as well. Oh, little Nathan, he's so nervous. It's, it's so sweet. You're doing a really, really good job doing the videos. Um, and, uh, yeah, keep it up. I'm really glad to see you on your channel and also now as well on Manchester Vax. Plus your accent is awesome. Right. Um, Mark Aig, A-G-U-E. Um, uh, Hoover Innovation, which is the... In America, it was the Hoover Innovation, but here it was the Hoover Turbo Master. Um... And I like watching that one because there's quite a bit of a difference between the American version they had and the British version. So, And I've watched a number of his videos. I think they're really cool. Um, Dyson V7s. Princess 2000. I haven't watched that yet. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Um, Michael Kirby. He's got some really interesting videos on... Uh, rainbows and how to completely take apart and disassemble Kirby Avalia Centria 2. He did that eight, uh, eight months ago and I love these kind of videos. These are the ones I watch a lot to learn. It's like doing an open university um, course doing this um, to how to strip it. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, Mitchell Krenzer, oh my gosh, his channel is really, really good. I love it to bits. Um, he's got so many machines. Um, there's one that he's absolutely fast fixated with, which I think is the, fan that's it, the Phantom. He, I've never known anybody to have so many of the same vacuum cleaner of the Phantom. He must have doubles and triples of every single type of Phantom that came out, which I believe is kind of like uh, the... Dyson, the American Dyson, back in the day. He's got some really, really good videos. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to scroll back. I think it was his... He's put loads on in the past um, couple of days. Loads, loads, short little videos. Check it out. And I think it was one of his videos when he was... I think it was him that had the... Um, uh, TriStar Ace. I think it was his video I was watching, and I'd never seen the TriStar Ace before, so I watched it, and then I was on the hunt for one then, and then I got my TriStar Ace, which is the pig-nosed one. But, uh, yeah, he's got some really, really good videos. Uh, recently become Facebook friends on him, and uh, with him, and uh, he's a really nice guy. Really, really nice. Check it out. <coughs> 
Uh, Nicholas Wheeler, check out his channel. Oh, he hasn't got any videos on it. Why hasn't he got any videos? He's really cool. He loves washing machines and Lego. So I got a I got a Lego video coming up for him soon. Uh, Pneumatic Ten, I watch lots of his videos as well. He's got some really really good ones. Let me just scroll through. Basil's Vaxes. Henry 200s, Hoover Commercials, um, Dyson DC40s, After Refurb videos, uh, Hot Point. Today's £1 boot sale find. First look Panasonic, so Panasonic cylinders. Ah, uh, he's got a lovely video here on the Hoover Junior Deluxe uh, yellow one. Hoover Junior 1334. Lots of interesting machines on his channel, so check it out. Oh, he's got the Electrolux 302, like the one I had, but in much better condition. And the Hoover Junior Compact, which I've got. Um, let's have a look. Yeah. No videos. Why is there no videos on that one? No. Nomadic Collector. This channel has no videos. What's happened there? I don't know what's happened there, Nomadic Collector. Now, we're into ends, and everyone, there's so many different channels now with Pneumatic. Pneumatic Lovers 11. Um, oh, God, he's had some really, really dodgy machines he's been uh, had to clean up recently. Poor guy, but he does manage to sort them out. I'm not really very familiar with um, pneumatics and how to strip them apart um, let's have a look. Uh, pneumatic rule 29 are oh, he's got a really good channel the funny thing is when I used to live in London I lived in North London and I lived um, let's just say I lived in North London because he I can't mention the name because he lives there but he literally lived lives currently about three streets ago three streets away from where i used to live when i used to live in london up in north 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 london practically essex um which i found really really sort of like small world but uh, when i was living there i don't even think he was born actually i'm positive he wasn't born ah uh, here we go alex raw channel pneumatic vacuum um Recently, well, the one I just watched, which was a day ago, which was it was a very short video. It was of the Hoover Constellation. Um, he's got some really awesome machines, and his channel is brilliant. He's uh, three weeks ago he did the DC01 Distill, this kind of color, but the upright. So keep your eyes open on this channel for in a couple of weeks, because I'll be a surprise for you. So yeah, check out his channel. It's fantastic. Alex is a really, really, really nice, genuine guy. You couldn't meet a nicer guy like George and like everybody, but you couldn't meet a nicer guy. Uh, pneumatic Vacuum 10. Um, I like watching his videos as well. He did the, he's got a Dyson DC01, just like I have, the Arctic Blue. Ollie Vac guy, uh, there's a number of his videos I like as well. Uh, he's got a lovely pink Hoover Junior and the um, Maytag satellite video. More recently, the Quick Clean with the 506, the Electrolux 506. Um, Tayab. Now his channel, which is called Parwaz786. Tayab is such a nice guy. He does some really, really good um, vacuum cleaner uh, tests because uh, wherever he goes, there's some really, really awesome carpet, um, especially at home and in the mosque as well, which is just like an absolute swathe of thick, luxurious carpet. And he does demos on it, and I'm fascinated. I'm like, I want to bring my machines. So do check out his channel because it's really, really good. Performance reviews. This is the guy who is the expert. Um, when he <laughs> when I got the notification that he had subscribed to my channel, 
I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> he is going to think I am such a nutty amateur because it, it's it, this is his job. So he, again, what he doesn't know about vacuum cleaners of all different types isn't worth knowing. But I know in his videos he says, don't try this at home and take it to your local repair shop. But I'm sorry, I have actually used a number of your videos as how-tos. Um, especially with the Miele S7. <laughs> I've watched on repeat about 50 times, so I know how to take it apart. So I'm sorry about that. And I know you do put the disclaimer in, but I really do enjoy watching your channel. You've got some really awesome American machines over there. Uh, Richard Bailot, another American guy, he's got more machines than I've had hot dinners. Um, and he's gone through his collection a number of times. Um, and I love watching them. He's got some really wacky machines. And he's also got an amazing cat that for some reason just totally photobombs practically every single video. That cat is a photobomber. I love that cat. And Richard's a really nice guy. Rusty Skull. Rusty Skull, he's such a cutie pie. Everyone loves watching Rusty Skull. Um, bikes, vacuum cleaners, complete grease monkey, and is such a nice guy as well. He is so down to earth. He is such an open person, and he's, he's genuinely a really, really nice guy. I love watching his videos, even if they're nothing to do with vacuum cleaners. Um, I still watch a lot of them as well. He's mad. I like his motorbikes and old cameras. Now, I used to have one of those handy cam uh, cameras years and years and years ago. Uh, so, yeah. Everyone loves Rusty. That's not working. Silly Sid123 Gareth. Uh, he is such a really, really nice guy. He was the one that gave me that um, orange bagged uh, Kirby Heritage. Um, and underneath here, I've got all the parts to make a completely custom um, Hoover Junior, uh, the old, old one, the metal one, uh, for him. So I'm going to do that and make a feature video of it. I think it might be a few videos um, for Gaz because he's a really nice guy. He's got some other parts for me I need to pick up as well in a couple of weeks. So I need to go and pick him up. Uh, I need to pay for him as well. I pay for it actually as well. Uh, Sorcerer 101567. Now, these are th these are really good. I do like his video. He's doing more sort of like longer videos. He hasn't done one for a couple of months now, um, but he's doing longer videos and actually talking in them. And he's done one here with George from AG123. But they never put their faces in them. They never put their faces in it. And it would be, and they're really, really nice guys. I don't understand. Put your faces in them. If I look like you, I <clears throat> wouldn't, wouldn't be worried. Tech Moan. Love Tech Moan. Been following him for a long time. Love all his gadgets. 8-bit guy. Same thing as well. I love all the computer gadgets. Oops. What have I done? Here we go. The Laundry... The Laundry Centre some really really nice videos here it's got some awesome the awesome machines excuse me let me go back to videos he hasn't done one for a couple of weeks uh let's flick through it's it is it is washing machines laundry of course but i do like watching some of them because especially some of the ones which i kind of remember from my childhood um like a, the service one uh, really nice channel. Check it out. Like I said, it's called the Laundry Center. If you're interested in washing machines and laundry care, check it out. I really like it. The Dyson washing machine. What a disaster that was. <sighs> Everyone who paid like £900,000 for a washing machine and then they stopped repairing them and fixing them and providing parts for them. What a waste. That's what annoys me. Yeah, all washing machines. Check it out. The laundry Centre. Next on the list, uh, this one is, I watch, is the Odd Job Centre. Uh, he's got some really, really good machines. He hasn't got many videos. 
Um, he's only actually he's only got three videos on there, which were done a month ago. The odd job center. So get cracking. Start making videos. I love it. Oh, Matthew from the Vac Mat. Oh, that was so cool when he was on the news. Um, he was in the newspaper. He was on the Daily Mail with his little business and his collection. And then he was on the news. Um, the Vac Mat, Matthew. He's really cool. Uh, check out his videos. It's really cool. He knows quite a lot, actually, about vacuum cleaners. And it's quite interesting to watch him do his videos. Really nice guy. What's this one? Uh, the Vac Lab. I like watching the Vac uh, Vac Lab as well because he does some. He's doing recently. He's been doing lots of uh, American Channel. Been doing lots of videos on um, uh, edge cleaning the vacuums that he has. But uh, it was him that inspired me to do the um, uh, whole house cleaning videos because um, I really enjoyed watching it when he used to do the different vacuums around his house. Um, he's a really really nice guy as well he comments frequently on my on my videos and so thank you very much to you can't wait to see more content more testing of your vacuums um, vacuum archive he's got loads of old adverts adverts for the Eureka boss the Eureka whirlwind these are all old TV adverts these are American, yeah, these are American, so you must be an American channel. Uh, let's have a look. Vacuum Chum, he's got a number of videos on there as well, I like that. Dyson ones. Come on. Come on. Uh, vacuum cleaner collector stroke fixer oh I oh, know he does have video he does have videos on him mm, oh we've got a couple of videos on here Kirby Avaliers Hoover Aqua Kirby Heritage mess test yep check that out it's got videos on that Vacuum Repair UK. Oh, this is Matt again. I am subscribed. So he's got two channels. Okay. Um, pneumatic Repair. Okay, let's have a look. I have watched some of them. I'm not sure I have. Yeah, he's done some a week ago. Six months ago. Okay. God, it's so confusing. I can never remember all of these. And especially because... Um, like a lot of people don't have their name linked to their channel. So, and there's a lot of people that start off their channels with vacuum. There's a lot of people who start off their channels with pneumatic. I'm trying to remember it. I, it's impossible. Uh, vacuum Boy 19. He's got some really good videos of some old machines on there as well. So I do like watching that. Uh, vacuum Cleaner Reviews. Dyson videos on that one, very very nice. Dyson DC05 and uh, other machines. Vacuum Dude 123, he's got uh, lots of older uh, machines on there as well, doing demos and stuff, that's really cool. Ah, here's Nathan, vacuums 4821. Um, Two months ago was the last time he did a video, and then seven months before then. But I love watching his channel. <laughs> Vacuum test, Miko. Oh, Miko is brilliant. He's such a nice guy. We're friends on Facebook, and we also comment on our videos. He's so funny. He's like uh, the Dr. Frankenstein of the vacuum cleaner world. Um, I need him to come over and do something with that stupid Mila Acunova head that I have that doesn't work properly. I need him to come over and Frankenstein that for me. Um, I really like his channel. It's really cool. You must check it out if you haven't seen it yet. 
I mean, to be honest, if you've watched me, you definitely know who he is. I'm just a little fish in a big pond. Last uh, penultimate, uh, we've got Vintage Hoover. Vintage Hoover, he has got... Um, the Dyson Group, I haven't, oh, that's, oh, these are old videos, six years ago was the last time a video went on, which was the Dyson Groom Tool. I wonder what happened to me, I need to put some new ones on. Finally, the last one on my list is Wizard. Uh, Wizard is in, um, he's in America, in the Sunshine State, is it called the Sunshine State? No, that's California. Oh, I don't know, he's in, um, Florida in the state of Florida. Really, really nice guy. He goes around, he does lots of like video vil filming in the Goodwill stores. Um, loves his Kirby's, does lots of repairs on his Kirby's. Um, so check it out. He is a, a gamer as well. So there's some gaming videos on there well, as well, but I'm not really interested in gaming. But he does have some really good videos. The Kirby's, full house vacuuming, carpet washing, Oryx. Um, Dyson, he's got some Dyson, he got some DC07s, um, so yeah, and a Sanitaire, I love the Sanitaire, I think that's really cool, I'd love to have a Sanitaire. So there we go, so that is basically all the ones, all the people that I'm subscribed to, there are some other ones as well, um, which are not vacuum related, for example, Car Cleaning Guru, I love watching his videos, I learned so much on how to detail and wash my car properly through him, a lot of the products that I do use are because of watching his channel. So that's about it really, that's kind of like all the videos that I do watch, plus other ones come up as well, and I'm Facebook friends with a lot of people, not just the um, people who create the channels as well, but the actual sub uh, subscribers as well, there's lots of people that I'm friends with that, uh, um, that watch the videos. Now let me go into my YouTube studio. Oh, two bars. No, back down to one. So if I go into notifications, um, just a vacuum fan. Uh, she always replies to my videos. Uh, she uh, to be the first one, uh, along with um, Wizard, um, Gaming Elephant, Henry Hoover. They're really nice. I like those people. I speak to them a lot with friends. Flying Cookie. Oh, Hoover Proof, Matthew Marsh, Dublin's House of Clean, um, Peter Bob Ben, Andy Kirk, Aaron Thorne. Let me go into comments. Oh, it's getting windy. Uh, Fang Lee, Aaron Thorne, Just a Vacuum Fan. Craig's Clocks, hello you, how are you? Well, I love all your comments you put on there as well. He's so funny. <laughs> uh, Gaming Elephant Second. Let's have a look. Andy Kirk, I've said. Dave Greenwood, hello Dave. Um, Dyson37, hello to you. Oh, Hoover Proof. Um... Dublin's House of Clean, Giftamaka, hello to you, Giftamaka. Uh, Etienne Danilo, I like, I always like your comment. I like everyone's comments, to be honest. Vacuum Cleaner Collector Stroke Fixer, hello to you. Vacuum Chum, hello. Stephen Davis, hey Stephen, I hope you're well. He gave me some... Um, link to the um, Wi-Fi extenders, uh, actual plug sockets. I'm going to get one of them and do a video on that as a gadget one. John Patrick McConnell. Hello, John. How are you? I hope you're well. Danny Tooney. I'm just going through here with all these people so I can mention. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Matthew Marsh. Hey, Matthew. Rob's Lighting and Tech, hello Rob. Paul Bridgewater, hey Paul. Dalton Frost, hey Dalton, how are you? He's in America, really cool guy, he's so funny. 
Uh, the Vac Matt, he's got comments on there as well. David Booth, Phil Wynn, Uncle Nolly, ah, oh, Noel, my dear friend Noel, how are you? He'll be like, when I when he sees this and he knows his name's been mentioned, Noel will be, Noel will be like, <laughs> but all right, Noel. John Patrick again, hey y'all. Let's go through. Stephen, Stephen Barr. Hey, Stephen. Well, just watching your brush, the filter made me sneeze uncontrollably. That was when I was dusting off the filter of my sister's G-Tech. Mark Pritchard. Hey, Mark. How are you? Um, like I said, I was down in Swansea, so I was nearish to you over the weekend. Uh, Jacob Bates, he wasn't expecting that. I think that was the um, the monkey video, those monkeys. And then... David Booth. Oh, who, Booth. So, yeah, so I, I try and respond. Well, I do. I do respond to every comment. Um, if I just... I, I don't get many bad comments, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> that's so funny yeah we were like naughty school boys so I, I do apologize for any offense caused uh again you know if you're watching this then you know who you are and again i'm really sorry um but it was it, it was um we were like two naughty school kids i have to say um so yeah i don't get a lot of bad comments after watching this uh, the thing about it is, if I get anything bad comments, they always come up on here. And then I'll really read them, roll my eyes and delete them. And that's it. If anyone's looking for a fight, I just delete the comment. I can't be asked. Life's too short. I think when you get to 40, two, uh, three, um, you, you, you watch this and you just think, oh God, have you got anything better to do with your life than make comments about somebody who likes vacuum cleaners and gadgets i mean really the thing about it is is i don't personally uh, I, I, well, I, I don't know i get a lot of people especially well there's a lot of people who sort of like think i'm really weird because of the channel that i do and the vacuums and whatever but they, they're people that are not close to me so i don't really care um, family and stuff, they kind of just like, I don't know, just roll their eyes. Um, and I have a very understanding other half, as you know. But what I'm trying to make the point of is that a lot of people who do these channels and have these, the, you know, the people who like the vacuum cleaners and things and washing machines and stuff, they get enough stick from the general public or family or friends or just general people, they don't need to have comments made by other fellow collectors. I don't understand it. Um, that is one of the negative things that I find about this. I get on with everybody, but there are a lot of like groups and clicks and things that I absolutely do not pay any attention to. I will talk to and I will be friends with anyone. And I think that's something that I kind of made a point to with with Steve is that if people have if I'm friends with people that other people don't like and then you cut me out, that really hurts me because there are people that I'm friends with you and there are people that don't like you or don't like this or don't like whatever. But I don't listen to them. I make my own judgments and they don't think any less of me for liking certain people um so but uh, that's all sorted that's all done and dusted but i will say that please don't make nasty derogatory comments to people who are in the community especially if you are now part of that community because you'll never know when you will need their help or advice our friendship and if somebody does something on their channel that they don't like just don't watch it 
just don't watch it. Don't just flick over. There's there's a zillion channels on there. If somebody is doing something or say something that you personally don't like, then just forget about it and just move on to another channel or another video. It is not worth making comments to people who are in your own community. Don't do it because it puts other people in really awkward positions because I genuinely want to be friends with everybody. I really, this, I really want more people to be able to come here and do collaboration videos. I had so much fun doing those three videos with Ben. It was brilliant and I really have the taste for it now and I would love for other people to come and do videos here with me. Um, because you will teach me and so much. I mean, I learned so much about the DC-75 that literally 10 minutes after Ben left, I went straight onto eBay and then I bought myself a DC-75 secondhand on eBay. <coughs> um, so I learned a lot. And there's other people as well. When I go to Rob and Paul's or when I meet up with George or other people, I learn so much. And I think it is really important to be more tolerant to other collectors fixers, channels, and whatever. That's my personal opinion. That is my goal. Um, you know, I've, I've invested a lot of money in time and effort in bringing all these videos, the lighting, the studio, the, the units, the vacuums, the parts, the waxes, the polishes, the cloths. I love it. I genuinely love it. I love the learning curve. I have the memory of a goldfish. I've learned so much and it is because of all of your input and comments and everything. I love it. So, moral of the story is just please be nice to people. Just be pleased, especially to the people which are in our own community or I'll get that scissors. So anyway, this is my first vlog. I bet I have bored you all to tears. And I am so sorry for that. And uh, just fast forward it, just do the 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. But I'm afraid there'll be no vacuums in this little video today. This is just purely me doing a little vlog. So I've got a number of things to do today. I wanted to get this done and dusted out of the way. I have to finish off the video that I did for picking up a Dyson for a fellow collector and restorer. So I'm going to do a quick video, finish off the video of that. I've got the Dyson videos to do. I've got so many different things. There's a lot of content coming up. So it's sort of like, yes, I got boxes over there that I haven't unboxed yet of old um, vacuum cleaners, especially one that I'm rather excited to try because um, I managed to get one. It's a bit broken, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. So. Anyway, that is it. I'm signing off. Finally, thank you so much if you have watched the entirety of this video. I do thank you all with all my heart. And I will see you all very soon for the next video, which will either be vacuum or gadget related. So, love to you all. Thank you so much. All your comments, your likes, even your dislikes, because you still would have watched it to have a dislike anyway, so I don't care. And thank you so much, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, y'all.